Hello, I am Reverend L.L. Langstroth. As many people know, I do not have a side as of this second on abolition or the continuation of slavery. I don't like to talk about either of those things. I don't really like to talk about the Constitution as well. I like to talk more about the fundamental um, structures and the societal structures of bees and honeybees and how that can compare to how the societal structure structure should be for mankind. Um, although I am a reverend, I do not believe the use of God as an argument is justifiable or a verifiable fact. I believe that you need to be able to make your own observations in nature to be truly intellectual. That being said, over these last couple meetings, we have read stuff from Frederick Douglass, we have read stuff from John C. Calhoun, we have read stuff from Thomas Dew. I appreciated Calhoun's and Frederick Douglass's excerpts more than I appreciated Dew's, as all Dew did was talk about for God this, for God that, and he didn't really actually have any hard na facts that, that he witnessed himself in nature or in anything of that sort. Douglas described multiple times uh, the mistreatment that he witnessed himself um, to other slaves. If a slave did need all of the f it's his food that was given to him, sometimes a slave owner would come and make him eat it until he was thrown up sick. Um, so that's obviously brutal and not the way a honeybee and their society works. A honeybee does stuff for the whole hive, for the community as a whole. You'll never catch a honeybee doing something for its individual self for that would basically kill the bee and eventually kill the hive. Um, now Calhoun made some good points about the physical structure of how bringing these slaves over from Africa gave them an actual purpose. We gave them food, shelter, um, and the ability to work. And I thought that was a very interesting point as well, because that is something that you physically can go out and see if you ever go to the Southern States, or that is something that, you know, is if you ever come go have the ability to go to Africa to, um, the Southern States, you would see just a giant, uh, difference in society and the structure of communities which is what I think John C. Mc Calhoun makes a great point for against slavery, for slavery is the structure of the community. All this being said, when it relates to the Constitution, I would ask one, um, how does the Constitution, how does what it says and how does the structure of the Constitution relate to that of a beehive? And there's a couple answers. Um, the Constitution itself and theory creates structure, creates a good platform that people abide by and it'll be beneficial for the community. In theory, that is a good, you know, the Constitution is good. Um, some of the things written throughout the Constitution I do not believe are right or accurate. Um, these are something that men put in hundreds of years ago. We weren't there to witness what these guys were saying. We weren't there to witness then put this down in paper, these, the Constitution is something that I think can be better and should be better for everyone as a whole community. Um, all this being said, as this is the last meeting, I have to decide which faction I want to be a part of. I know that John C. Calhoun and the physical structure of the Beehive most relate to how the structure of man should be, no one individually, everyone working for the community. However, I believe Frederick Douglass's and the abolitionist arguments make for a better case. Um, you're not cruel to bees. You, if you're cruel or mean, you will see them not being able to provide you with as much honey. Why is that not the same as man? Why could not that be the same as men? We don't force bees away from their families. We don't force bees to do anything. We actually, I invented the Langstroth Hive, which gave bees three eighth inch more space to be able to move around and maneuver. And it has turned out to be the most 
safe for beekeepers, the most safe for bees, and it has turned out to give the most yield and honey from those bees. It's just that little sense of freedom and the non-brutality. So that being said, I have decided to side with the abolitionist movement for I believe their views on the constitution and how things should be run more correlate with my core beliefs and um, is more like the successful societal structure of a honeybee.